it's Miss Nancy from my home kitchen. Today, I know we, we received a bunch of bananas that aren't ripe yet, but I'm gonna be making uh, the banana bread. I know Miss Alyssa and Miss Shayla made a bunch of banana bread to give to your families. I hope you all enjoyed it. But some have been asking for the recipe that I used over at Girls Inc. What I have is about five bananas. Now the bananas may not look real good because you need a ripe banana. That makes it nice and sweet. So I'm gonna peel this banana and put it in with the rest of the bananas that I had. Now it's a little mushy, so don't worry. So I put all the bananas in there. I'm just gonna wash my hands before I get started. And I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350 to get that started also. So I have the bananas in a bowl and I'm going to mash it. You can use either a whisk. I have a dollar store masher that you could use or a potato masher, whatever you have at home. If you don't have any of these items, just use a fork to get your banana started. So we want to Get them nice and, they're nice and soft because they're really ripe. So you want them, so I'm just getting that all together. I hope you're enjoying baking at home. The next ingredients that we're going to do, we're going to grease my pan. I have a small that holds four. If you don't have that, you could use the disposable ones that I have also but I'm gonna make four little loaves to share. So I'm gonna spray them, make sure you get all the sides. You know, if you don't have cooking spray, you could use a little oil in there. So whatever you have at home, or if you have butter or margarine, you could use that also. Okay, so what I'm going to do, put in in my bowl, I'm going to mash, I mash the potatoes, and then in a separate bowl, which I have here, I'm going to put in two, two eggs, which I'm going to crack in my big bowl. <clears throat> Try not to get any shells in there. Be careful. Okay, that's the first one. Okay, so you're going to mix up your eggs, beat them up just with a fork, or you could use your whisk. Then I'm going to add in the mashed bananas. So I'm going to use this bigger bowl that I have. So. Okay, mix all that in together. And then I'm gonna combine, I have sugar, one cup of sugar, a cup of vegetable oil. I'm gonna put in there also, measuring that. Fill it to the top. Okay, like that. Let's mix all that all together. Your dry ingredients, which is two cups of flour that you're putting in. You're doing a half a teaspoon of salt. And baking soda is one teaspoon of baking soda. Great. And we're gonna mix all that together. 
You can use a regular mixer, but it's pretty easy, so you could just do it by hand. That beeping was my oven. It's all preheated at 350, so they'll be ready to cook. I have to add in a, how much vanilla? One teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, see how the batter is? It's all mixed up. Everything's combined. So now I'm going to pour it into my pans. Um, just be careful in pouring. You're going to pour it three quarters of the way. So. Now they're going to go in a 350 degree oven. For, for about, it says, about 50 minutes. So I'm going to set my timer. So it's set for 50 minutes. Okay, girls, 50 minutes are up, so I'm going to check our banana bread. Let me just turn off my timer. Okay, be careful. The oven's hot. I don't want anyone to get burned. Let's pull it out. Look at how beautiful they look. Now to check them to make sure that they're done, I have a knife, and I'm just going to stick in the center. You want it to come out clean. See, there's no... Um, banana bread or uh, batter still on there. So I think they're all ready. Pull them out. Be careful. If you need help, don't forget to ask to pull them out of the oven. Look at how nice they turned out. You can also add nuts, girls, if you'd like to this. I'm going to turn off my oven and let them cool. Hope you enjoy this banana bread. And I'll post the recipe also. Enjoy. See you soon. Mm -hmm.